I gotta sit here and give myself timers because if I don't, I'll be sitting here talking to y'all forever. And it's like nobody else is around. It's like just me in the camera. And I'll be sitting here talking like forever as if like I have the audience of like 100,000 people. <laughs> okay, here we go. I saw before everything was shut down, I saw Invisible Man. I never made a review about it, so sorry. It's currently on Amazon Prime and it was amazing. First of all, the actress who plays uh, the character, I don't even remember the character's name at this point, but you know what, it's okay, it's all right. The main character, okay, you know who she is, homegirl from Handmaid's Tale, okay. She was amazing. I mean, like, obviously she plays damsel in distress very well. Like, that's her thing. That's kind of like her niche a little bit. It was really interesting. I mean, and I saw this movie by myself. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? Don't let them haunt you. Hello? in this movie theater y'all I almost wish I had somebody that I was with because I was sitting in this movie theater next to people I don't know like <gasps> oh. <laughs> and it was almost as if I wanted to turn to my neighbor and be like bitch did you see that and I feel like the people I was next to was probably like bitch calm down okay but I was really enthralled in the movie so this movie reminded me of this film it came out a really long time ago called Hollow Man with uh Kevin Bacon and it's kind of like the same premise a little bit uh with this guy who's like invisible and it's like a thriller and people are trying to escape and blah 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 blah. you know this chick was really trying to get away from her partner she wouldn't even married a homeboy like you know another story about these men who try to control these women because they think that they can what's up with that and she got away. She was so affected by him that she was just paranoid, just like nonstop, but actually she wasn't crazy. Homeboy was really like trying to come for her. Let me just say that the first half of the movie is exactly like the preview, but then it takes a turn, which makes it really interesting because as I was watching, I was just like, all right, I guess the preview revealed everything. Fake news, psych, there's a twist, okay? Keep watching which is when the movie really, really, really got juicy. And you were like, ooh, where is this going? I don't even wanna ruin it, I don't wanna ruin it. I just wanted to let you know, okay? Actually, maybe, I think I maybe do have some notes. Let me see, real quick, I might have some notes on this film. I do, okay. The opening was really good. Everyone was on the edge of their seat in the opening scene, That so much so that everyone jumped when, uh, it may, just listen, the op I'm not gonna ruin it. The opening scene was like, you were in such suspense that it was a great opening. All of the sounds are jolting. Everything, even the doorknob opening is scary. So it, I think they did a really great job of making you feel on edge. They really did a good job with that. The role is different from June, which we know from Handmaid's Tale and different because she's less confident and she's self-conscious and a little bit awkward. So she's not quite like June because June is all of those things, but this character is not. So I was a little afraid that I was gonna be watching June in this, but it's not. I wrote down the note that I can't read the brother. I'm not sure if he's lying or protecting or what he's getting out of this. Why did he have these photos ready? That was my note. What happened to him? He cut his wrist per his final wishes. You're getting $5 million. Contingent, of course, on the fine print. It can't be ruled to be mentally incompetent. Come back to this after you've seen the movie. I wrote down she's very fearless and yet defenseless. Homegirl is always like game and ready to like take somebody on, but she like has no, no preparation at all to defend herself. It's kind of annoying, but it's, you can't stop watching. I wrote a spoiler, but I'm not gonna wrote it. I literally wrote, oh my God, exclamation, 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 exclamation. <laughs> Another spoiler I'm not gonna say. I wrote, no, she's got a plan, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so here's the thing, what I found really interesting. You don't see her partner at all during the film. And I felt like that was really interesting because it kind of made him like this faceless man, you know, you're very like mysterious. Even at the end of the movie, you're not really sure what his deal was. You're not sure if he had any mental issues. I mean, he, I guess, he definitely had mental issues. But either way it goes, listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that. All I can say is that this movie had a big twist. I wasn't ready for it. I did not expect it. It was exciting and I was very pleased with how it ended. So if you have time during your quarantine, 
you should check out Invisible Man. You will not be sorry. And once you watch it, tell me your thoughts below. Check out this video, that video, or go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.